Over the last year, we told you about staffing shortages at 911 call centers nationwide. According to a study by the National Association of State 911 Administrators, more than half of all call centers experienced an increase in calls and a decrease in staffing in 2022. Digging into the numbers, the survey asked nearly 800 call centers across the nation about their staffing levels. The average vacancy rate was 25%. Nearly 4,000 people left the industry in 2022. And keeping these call centers fully staffed can be the difference between life and death. Absolutely. Now, staffing has started to improve thanks to recent graduates from the 911 Call Taker Academy and brand new programs like the one now offered at Denver Public Schools. 17-year-old Harper Freeman is a senior at South High School and among the first students enrolled in Denver Public Schools' new emergency dispatch training program. The four-month program run out of the district's career education center includes classroom instruction from a former cop, shadowing dispatchers, and a training system that simulates real 911 calls. Bank robbery, shooting, ambulance needed, domestic, missing person. This system is nearly identical to the one used to train dispatchers in Aurora, Jeffco, and Denver. On it, Students receive simulated emergency calls from the other students. Had a baby crying. And if you wanted to add sirens, which often occur. The student dispatcher must calmly assess the situation, get the right information, and decide if they need to send police, fire, or ambulance. Somebody's having a baby. What? Correct. You can. You pull up a little chart, and it'll tell you step by step what to tell that person. Dispatchers are can be considered like the very first responder, you know? Absolutely. Um, and I think just being there for someone in a moment of crisis is really impactful. I'm just so curious because, I mean, people's lives very literally will be in your hands. Yeah. How's that feel? I think it's extremely stressful, but it just, it feels so empowering, I guess, and important and... It's so important. I mean, it also, it just feels good, you know, to be that person for someone. Harper's confident she can handle the stress of these potentially life or death calls because of her current job. With babysitting, because I babysit a lot. Well, there you go. There's been some that's, like- That's a lot there. Like stressful situations where like the kid is choking or a kid fell and he right. like hurt himself. Have you been in that situation? Yeah. In May, Harper and her 10 classmates will graduate high school and become the very first graduates of this new dispatcher training class. They can take the certification they'll earn and combine it with a one semester course at CCD, Community College of Denver, and become certified emergency dispatchers. CCD is working with the big three Denver Metro dispatch agencies to make sure these graduates have exactly the training they'll need. And there is need. Jeffco 911 in October was telling us they had 120 openings alone. The nice thing about the, that career pathway is they can go into it when they're 18, and it's a livable wage. I mean, they're starting at 55 to 64 thousand, depending on what agency they go to. This time next year, Harper and her classmates may very well be the ones who answer our emergency calls and help us through our most crucial moments. Um, could you send someone out here, please? It's not uncommon for someone to go into labor and have to call. Have you thought about that one? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I, I feel like it. I feel like it would just be a really like beautiful moment to guide someone through. And this program was also ideal because a large percentage of bilingual students in Denver Public Schools because the need for bilingual dispatchers is incredibly high.